Now, if you're having problems with not being able to see your PS4 on your screen, so if you have a TV or monitor where you're, it's just a black screen, you don't see anything, here are a few things you can try. First of all, disconnect and then reconnect the HDMI cable and see if that works. Next, while the PS4 is on, you can try to unplug your TV from the wall outlet and then plug it back. Surprisingly, this seems to work for a lot of people, so definitely give that a try. Now, if that still doesn't work for you, it might be a problem with the resolution. So you're gonna go into safe mode here. In order to do that, you're gonna need your PS4 controller. You're gonna need a USB cable that's compatible with the PS4. So go ahead and plug in your PS4 controller. And what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to put your PS4 into safe mode and that's going to give us some available options to try to fix your PS4 to get it working again. So in order to get your PS4 into safe mode, you're going to want to hold down the power button for about seven seconds until you hear two beeps. So here we go. One beep. You should hear a second beep soon. And that's the second beep. So if everything worked out correctly, you should see on your screen where it says safe mode, connect a DualShock 4 using USB cable and then press the PS button. Okay, so at this point, you're gonna wanna press the PS button and then it's gonna take you to the next screen, which is the safe mode menu. Now, if you press the PS button and nothing happens, then that means you're not using the original PS4 USB cable that came with your PS4. And you're gonna have to find another USB cable that is compatible with your PS4. So it needs to support both charge and data so you can look around your house see if you find one so if you can't find one that works i will leave a link down in the description below to a compatible usb cable that works if you need to pick that up okay so go ahead and press the ps button and you're gonna see a list here it may vary for you depending on which specific model your ps4 but for me i have the ps4 pro and it gives me eight options okay and then using the d-pad don't use the analog stick because it doesn't work in safe mode you're gonna select option two and then it's gonna restart and it's gonna let you select your output resolution. So go ahead and do that now. Okay, so usually the automatic resolution setting will work for everybody. However, if it doesn't, we're gonna go ahead and change the resolution. In order to do that, you first wanna press the PS button on your controller. There we go. And then you can use the analog stick, you see here to move up and down. So if automatic is not working for you, then go ahead and set it manually to the resolution that you know your TV or monitor support. So my monitor here doesn't support 4K. So as you can see, it says unsupported. So I'm gonna manually set it to 1080p and then I'm gonna press the X button. It's gonna restart. So now I can see everything on my screen and I'm good to go. So setting the HTCP mode uh, may fix problems when you're connecting to a monitor or TV. So if you're having some kind of issue, then you can go ahead and change it from automatic to HTCP 1.4 only. So again, uh, if you have like maybe an older TV, you can uh, try switching this mode if you're not getting it displayed on your TV.